Look, I was going to sleep on this, Julia, but I'm afraid we have an issue. I got pulled over for speeding tonight. So you meant you have an issue. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. It's happening involuntarily. How much was the ticket? I got off with a warning. Did you cry and tell them that your mom died? That's what I do. Come on, where's the victory smile? My victory smile is in hibernation because we still have an issue, an issue named Trey. How is Trey the issue? Your fiance got me off. <laughs> out, Trey got me out of the ticket. That bastard. Oh my God. That was the scene from the new NBC sitcom, Extended Family. The show follows a divorced couple, stay with me, Jim and Julia, who continue to raise their kids at their family home. But the pair faces an unexpected twist when Julia falls in love with Trey, who owns Jim's favorite sports team, the Boston Celtics. And the show's executive producer and star, John Cryer, plays Jim, joins us now. Uh, great to have you on the show. Thank uh, you. Where did this concept come from? Uh, it came from life, Mika. Uh, uh, and there Wick, you go. Uh, it's inspired by uh, Wick Grousebeck, who owns the Boston Celtics. Uh, he and his wife share an apartment with her ex-husband, uh, uh, George. Uh, and they have somehow managed to remain the best of friends despite their divorce. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and actually what, what, uh, what drew me to uh, the show was that they that they've managed to uh, retain that that wonderful bit of friendship that they that brought them together mm -hmm. in the first place for the sake of their kids. Uh, and so we're, we're hoping that uh, that it's kind of a, an out of the box divorce that people can fall in love with. And also maybe perhaps and I'm just curious um, the sort of what this show you think does to the whole concept of divorce being so negative. Um, there are a lot of couples that co-parent, that remain friends, who are divorced. And I wonder if there is, I guess, an attempt here or a focus on looking on that kind of relationship and not always in the most negative way. Well, yes. I mean, obviously, divorce can be brutal and, and it's very right. tough on people. And I don't, you know, uh, uh, we're not trying to sort of make light of that. But we are saying that, you know, you, you can find positives uh, in any new phase of your life, you know, uh, mm -hmm. um, and, and that that's what that's what we're trying to do. Uh, obviously, this is a very specific, um, a very specific situation. Uh, not everybody, yeah. uh, not everybody's uh, uh, ex-wife marries the owner of their favorite sports team. I mean, I'm sure it happens. Uh, I'm sure it happens, <laughs> but uh, um, but uh, it's but it's fairly rare. So, uh, John, yeah. I knew a little bit about this story growing up outside Boston, Celtics fan. Uh, to this uh, to this day, I see you know, Wick is one of the executive producers of this. So, how did that go? Was was he sort of was he was he there part of this? Like, no, this happened. This didn't happen. Which is so talk to us about that process. Oh, oh, they absolutely do. Uh, uh, Wick and Amelia and George uh, uh, absolutely chime in on the show. George Gear, uh, the guy who my character is based on, is in the writers' room all the time, uh, and and they will very often say, "No, I don't buy this at all." <laughs> um, but they've also came up with uh, with story ideas. You know, at one point, uh, uh, George. George had promised a friend he would get uh, uh, he would help him get into their their kids' school, uh, and then George realized he forgot and had to call his wife uh, to to come in his ex wife rather to come in and save the day. And we've got a, an episode about that, uh, uh, but it's it, it's about the, the bonds of friendship that still keep them together. Yeah, well, let's listen. Let's look at another clip here. Uh, here's a, a image from the show demonstrating the challenges of co-parenting, especially when there's a new fiance in the mix. Hey, Trey. Hey, Gracie, what's up? <laughs> Dad, can I have a sleepover? Ooh, uh, I'm off duty. That's up to your mom. Oh, I texted her, but her do not disturb is on. That's okay. Your mom's entrusted full responsibility until she arrives to me. So as your future stepdad, I say, commence the sleepover! Yay! Thank you, Trey. <laughs> Sleepovers are the best. <laughs> Bold move. Agreeing to a sleepover without any data. You don't know how many kids are coming. Okay. You don't know what uh, parents. Grace, you... I need some data. How many kids are coming? Just Katie. The Katie I brought to your suite at the Lakers game. Oh, I love that Katie. Do you know that Katie, Jim? I do. She's Grace's best friend since kindergarten. I've met her conservatively 9,000 times. 
So first of all, why are you dressed like that? And, 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 and secondly, just talk to, it's, it's a really talented and accomplished cast. Tell us what that's like each and every day. Uh, well, well, the, no, he just dresses like that all the time. Oh, okay. He dresses like a revolutionary war <laughs> uh, hero the whole time. It's, it's, it's his thing. Yeah. Uh, it's a cosplay sort of situation. Uh, um, no, he is a part of a reenactment group mm. uh, that, that reenacts, uh, you know, in Boston, uh, reenacts revolutionary war scenes. But, um, but the show, uh, the cast is uh, Donald Faison, who plays Trey, the owner of the Boston Celtics, uh, and Abigail Spencer, uh, who you'd probably recognize from Mad Men and uh, Rectify and, uh, and Suits, which became this crazy phenomenon. We, this crazy phenomenon while we were on strike. I mean, you know, she'd be like trudging along the picket line. It's like, oh, well, my show is the number one show on earth. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and she, and it, it was as surprising to her as it was to, to everybody. Extended Family airs Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on NBC and streams on Peacock the next day. John Cryer, thank you very much for coming on the show. Congratulations on your show. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you, John. Good to have you. And coincidentally, John, someone you know very well. Molly Ringwald will be joining us later this hour to talk about her new project as well.